KP classes dedicated to excellence. Hello everyone. Today we have Mr. Amit Mangain with us. He was a student in the online classes uh, who completed his bachelor's in architecture just last year and he could achieve all India rank 11 in 8 2025. So in this short interaction, we'll get to know his inputs as to how he has prepared for this examination and what was his approach. Firstly, Amit, I would start to begin by congratulating you on this wonderful result. And uh, and also I would ask you the first question, like uh, what was your, were you expecting this result? What was your mindset after the examination and your expectation on the result? Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you so much. And actually, I wasn't expecting this rank. Like while I was giving the uh, exam, so there were a few questions which like didn't go well. And after the exam, I was like very doubtful about like how much paper went. But then when the answer key rolled out and like the prediction was done, the rank prediction, I was kind of like hopeful of rank like a uh, rank below hundred. But like this was very surprising and I was really like happy about it and like yeah that's it. okay so I would also like to ask you about your mindset when did you decide to take up this gate exam uh, what what helped you in making this decision what was your thought process in your final year of your architecture course so I actually didn't like decide it during the college. Uh, I was sure that I need to do masters, but I wasn't sure about like what is the process and what are the exams that I have to give. So while I was doing my internship, my friend asked like if I wanted to join the coaching he is joining, but I wasn't sure right like that time because I was not able. I was sure that I wouldn't be able to like to make out time for this thing because the internship I was doing like there was like I wasn't getting the enough hours to prepare for it. So like I decided not to do it then, but I did like self prepare and like the I was able to clear the cutoff last year, but like I wanted to give it like a pre proper amount of time so that like I can see like I am what the result is going to be if I give it like all the time. So that is why when my graduation like I got done with my graduation, so I decided to join the KP classes. So initially I like joined the uh, office and coaching, but then like I was not able to take out time for the classes. So I decided to stop the like job and give my all the attention to the coaching or like the preparation. Okay, so you already did touch upon the time management part. So that uh, would be my next question to me. Uh, I would like to know a bit of detail on that. Like you said, you couldn't manage time, so you had to stop doing the job and focused on the preparation. So with respect to this time management, can you tell me on the amount of time? Like when did you, uh, for how much time did you take up preparation along with college or job or internship? And for how much time period you, did you just focus on the preparation? So if you remember any broad idea on the timelines and number of months for the preparation and when you started your classes with us, which month if you remember? Yeah, so I actually joined the classes in August and I also joined the office in August. So in the starting few days, like the office, the day I started, like I had to wait, like work till the 10 in the office. So like that whole week, I was not able to even like attend the classes because I was in the office till 10. So that is when I decided like I cannot do this together. So I decided like to drop the office like in the first week itself. And then I started with the classes. First I like did the classes which I already left. Like I wouldn't wasn't able to attend. Then I continued with the regular classes. So in the starting like two months, I was like very distracted by like other exams as well. So I was like, I have a lot of time. So I was also looking for other exams I can give and like not basically architectural exams but other like government job exams as well. But then after that, when I like decided that I need to focus on the gate and then uh, I think for three months, uh, December, Jan, like November, December, Jan, I was like giving at least 10 hours a day for like just the preparation. Okay, so uh, the uh, if you remember on the subject, like what was your first subject with us? 
uh, what did you learn in it and what was the first impression of the classes when you began your preparation with us and if you remember any inputs on that uh actually i also taken the crash course like that uh, flash fast track course last year so i was like i already taken classes from you so i was sure about like what the class process is going to be and i was like very much confident about how like the way you are going to teach so the first class uh, the first subject was building i think building materials and yeah the you took that uh, class and yeah that was i was already confident and that like went very well as well okay and uh, how did you use the resources uh, because uh, i know you got full time on the preparation for those few months before the exam but you do have a lot of resources including classes the books you have 10 or 10 plus set of books along with in cards and you also have a lot of tests more than 150 i guess so you have these resources uh, what to what extent could you make use of them did you use all or did you find any uh, any specific part of it more useful uh, any input on the resources which you got from kpa classes so when the classes started uh, like there was a lot of material the printed material as well so when classes started i was like trying to balance the material like when the class of building material is going i would try to like take out the time for the uh, i would open the book where the building material part is and i would like try to study it all but like with the classes going on i was like able to understand that that is not feasible i cannot do the whole part from the book as well with the classes and then i also started to look at the previous year question papers so i was able to understand that the class material is also kind of enough and the things you told us to study from the books only that part then i like started to look into the book and also whenever i was like going through previous questions and i found any new topic which i haven't like seen before so for that i would like look into the books but i did use the uh, previous uh, the mock test very well like that was the part of the material above ab apart from the classes that i like really looked into that was very useful okay so moving towards the difficult part of the preparation uh it is uh, so were there any points of stress and were there any points of loss of motivation in the course of preparation or were you always 100% motivated and focused on the preparation if there were any issues how did you tackle those so i think this this is an important uh, point which many students battle with so if you have any uh, idea on that can you talk about it yeah so i had actually like watched the previous interviews that are on the channel and i saw like a lot of students said that they were really stressed about the exam but like they should have been confident on their preparation and like they actually got a good rank so i was like i tried to manage the stress that i am not going to be stressed and i would like try to prepare as much as i can but like there were points when like there were a lot of students in the group the whatsapp group like they will keep sending the questions and like uh, even like at night when i'm sleeping so i would like wake up and there are questions and people have discussed the question so i was like i'm not giving enough time and like there are people who are like studying all day and all night so that was like some points when i was kind of be stressed that there are people who are working much harder than me and like they will obviously get better marks or something also the mock test like sometimes when there were questions which like i haven't seen before and i would get stressed about it but like i always try to just look into that thing and apart from like being stressed i try to like prepare better that's a good insight actually not getting deviated because there are a lot of there is social media whatsapp phone calls and on all these distractions staying focused is important and that is what being confident on your preparation that is more important i'm sure that will be a, a good input for the future students for sure uh, can you tell me about the notes like uh, can you mainly tell me were you maintaining a uh, short notes separately or were you maintaining uh, class notes and self study notes separately or what is it was it a combined notes how did you handle your notes making in the process of preparation 
uh, when I started the classes, I tried to make as detailed notes as possible. Like I was trying to complete the notes with the classes, but then I was not able to like keep track with the concept. Like at times I would like skip the part which teacher is saying because I was focused on maintaining the notes. So then I started focusing more on like clearing my concepts and lesser on the maintaining the notes. So I would like make notes, but at the point when I'm not able to maintain the note, I would rather focus on the class and then complete my notes after like watching the recorded classes. And also I did maintain like uh, short notes for each subject. Uh, they're like one A4 sheet, as you told, I did make that A4 sheet. And then while revising, I would only revise it from the A4 sheet. And like I would mention the points and if I'm not able to recall something, then I would look at the whole point, like whole notes. Uh, right. So making notes from broader and narrowing it down. So when you, once you read that single A4 sheet of a subject, it will create that backlink and you'll recall the concept. Uh, we did discuss this strategy multiple times in the class and it's very good that you put it into practice and it was useful for you as well. Uh, so moving towards the end days of your preparation, uh, what was your approach with respect to revision? How much time did you spend for revising things? And during the last few days, was it just focused on revising your notes or did you also study new concepts? How was your revision strategy? Uh, during like the last phase of the preparation, I was focused more on like just revising and not really studying new concepts, but uh, I was also looking at the mock tests and previous questions. So if I would get any new concept, I did try to clear it because there is always a point that they are going to ask questions from the same topic. But if like, I wasn't really trying to like look out for things that I can study. I was just like, if I get to learn about a new point, so I would just like study about it or like look for, look into it. Right. So uh, moving towards the exam part. So during that, those three hours of the exam, were there any points which uh, helped you in the exam to stay cool? Or what was your approach before going to the exam? Are there any, uh, say, uh, any points you want to tell to the future students how to handle the day of the exam? Like, uh, obviously, I was stressed a little bit before the exam, but like, I was sure that I have prepared whatever I have prepared. I'm like, have to give the my best in the exam because like before the exam I was talking to my friend who has given gate last year and he said there are a lot of students who have prepared very well but they are not able to give that kind of uh, like they are not able to perform well in the exam because of the stress and because they get anxious about the exam so he's told me like to give my best in the exam so I tried not to be stressed during the examination and also uh, uh, before the examination like during the starting phase of my preparation i was very sure about like i'm going to attempt the architecture part like from the b1 part but like uh, as you told like i we cannot be sure and we should always like keep our options open so i did try to uh, study the planning part as well even though my focus was on like my priority was attempting the architecture part but during the exam when i was like i have attempted the uh, aptitude part and then the common part I opened the architecture part and like I had done better in those parts before and then architecture part I was like I really got anxious looking at the questions because I was not confident about it and there were a lot of questions which I was not like sure that I'm going to do like this well so I thought I should look into the planning part as well before like finally attempting this and then I looked into the planning part and like I felt more confident about the planning like the questions that were there so like I on my rough sheet I like at I like noted down how many questions from the architecture part I'm confident about and from the planning part I'm confident and like that there was a big margin that I'm more confident on the planning part so I decided to attempt the planning part even during like preparation and mock test I had never attempted the planning part before because I was sure about I'm going to attempt the architecture part but it changed during the exam and I did the planning part. So that is rare but something which we always talk about, you have to keep your option open of selecting whichever part which you feel is scoring for you in the exam because every single mark will count. Uh, even 0.33 marks will count. So you should always select the part which is scoring well. 
Uh, that's something which for sure will give an important insight to the future school. Uh, so to move towards the concluding part, uh, can you tell about one or two, two or three important things or whatever points you can recall, what you felt were uh, very useful uh, from the coaching stand, from us, whatever uh, support you have received, can you tell me or point out words, one or two things which you felt was uh, very useful for your preparation? I think like one of the points which was very useful is how structured the whole course is and like how structured everything is. So like when we started the classes, the classes were at a lower intensity and as we approach the exam, the intensity of the classes like kept getting uh, higher. And also like at during the later phase, we also got introduced to the, the mock test, like the live mock test, which would also give us ranks. So that this whole thing being very structured and we already knowing the whole structure of the classes, how the classes are going to be so that we can like plan our weeks better. So that was uh, actually very helpful. Also the whole course, the way it is designed, uh, like while I was self preparing last year, I was not like able to understand the whole syllabus part of it. and the questions where are like what part the question is from sometimes the question would be i would not be able to understand what part what subject this particular question is but when i looked into the syllabus like which was provided to us uh, before like classes started so the whole syllabus thing and then how the classes went that was like very helpful the syllabus part basically so also the how like teachers were available to answer our questions whenever we asked out. Also the WhatsApp group, people asking questions, people helping each other. That was also like very helpful. Even like I wasn't expecting people to provide their notes while someone asked, but they did. So that was actually very helpful. Right. The community or as a whole students itself, that was something which, uh, so it's like helping each other. That was something which is very good. Uh, as a part of the coaching, that's true. Uh, towards the end, uh, can you tell me one or two things which you think, even the future students who are taking our help or joining with us, uh, can you tell any one or two things which they have to keep in mind? Um, uh, what they have to do in addition to the classes, in addition to what we are providing? Is there anything which students have to take care of or remember? I think like if they do not have much time apart from whatever they're doing so the only the classes like the live classes are going to be a lot like it is enough but if they have time they should like look into uh, things which you have told and the uh, is codes you talk about in the class that we have to look into also preparing short notes is always going to be helpful and apart from that like uh, they should not really focus on other kind of distractions. Like sometimes uh, people are talking about like, why are you giving this uh, exam? Like it is not even going to be that helpful in masters. Like what is the point of doing masters? And that like do create self doubt. And like, if I'm doing this right thing, but like once you've decided to go for it, just like focus on your preparation and like do not look into distractions. Also, if you are going to be like just doing this preparation, so do like do not just sit at home the whole day and only do preparation do take out time to like go out or even like uh, do workout or something because just sitting at home also like creates anxiety because you are not like really sure about it and then you go into doubt but yeah that's i think that's it those are very helpful and very useful inputs. I'm like, thank you for taking out time. And I'm 100% sure that all the future students who watch this interaction on our YouTube channel will for sure uh, get some uh, uh, important inputs for their future preparation and confidence as well. Thank you again. And congratulations. And moreover, all the best for whatever career path you choose in your future. And do stay in touch always. Thank you. Thank you, thank you so much, sir.